Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies along with some extra goodies. The smoke jumper is a versatile little emerger pattern that can be used to imitate both emerging midges and mayflies. They're worth trying in different sizes and colors. Start by picking up one of the size 18 emerger hooks and getting it firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Load a bobbin with a spool of red uni thread and get the thread started on the hook shank, leaving a small space behind the eye. Take a few wraps rearward before snipping off the tag. Snip a 6 inch length of the silver wire from the coil. Lay one end of the wire on top of the hook shank and take thread wraps to secure it well down into the bend. Then return your tying thread forward to the initial tie-in point. Pick up a single strand of the red floss and secure one end of it to the hook shank and take thread wraps to secure it down into the bend. Then return your tying thread to the initial tie-in point. Get hold of the floss and start making touching to slightly overlapping wraps with it up the hook shank. If you overlap the wraps a little more as you go, you can add a bit of taper to the body of the fly. When you reach your tying thread, use it to firmly anchor the floss, then snip the excess off close. Get hold of the silver wire and begin making open spiral wraps with it up the hook shank. Five or six turns usually looks pretty good. Use your tying thread to anchor the wire then helicopter to break it off close. Snip an inch long piece of the white floating yarn free, then pull off and keep approximately one third of the material. You can use the rest to make more smoke jumpers. Position one end of the material in the fingertips of your left hand like so. The fibers should be snipped off relatively square. Give your bobbin a quick counterclockwise spin, then use a pinch wrap to secure the yarn to the top of the hook shank. Keep the butt end of the material away from the hook eye. Take nice firm wraps of tying thread to bind the material down well. Pull just a small amount of the black dubbing free from the packet and use it to create a thin dubbing noodle on your tying thread about an inch and a half in length. Take wraps with the noodle to build up a bulbous little thorax and end with bare tying thread at the back edge of the hook eye. Pull the white yarn forward out over the eye and take wraps of tying thread to lock it down. Pick up your whip finish tool and use it to do a four or five turn whip finish behind the eye but beneath the yarn. Be sure to seat the knot well, then snip your tying thread free. Trim the yarn off, leaving a fairly short emergent wing. And that's the smoke jumper. The floating yarn should keep it suspended in the surface film while the red abdomen will hang enticingly below.